today on Clothed in Glory. We're almost home now. We're almost home now. I don't really feel like that, guys. Hey, y'all. It's me again, and I am going to be doing a no-heat hair tutorial. So this is going to have to take 24 hours. So I suggest you not try to do this for church today or wherever you're going to go right now. So um, this is a sleep-in-curl technique. So I'm going to be using my heatless curling rods to do this and also I use some bobby pins and stuff like that um, and then anything else you do when your hair is wet right out of the shower. So let's jump right in. Alright so I just got out of the shower a little while ago my hair is already kind of drying on the top so I'm going to brush out my hair and then wet it a little bit as I go. So I always use the Not Your Mother's Way to Grow Leave-In Conditioner for a detangler and it works really really well. So I'm going to do that. So it helps with all the tangles. I have really snarly hair. So this works really well. So just work this through. My hair is really knotty so this may take a minute. I think it's just about all the way through. I'm all done brushing out my hair and now I'm going to put in some argan and Moroccan oil and this just helps with my hair. It makes it really shiny and smooth. So I just put this on the ends of my hair and a little bit toward the middle but I don't get anywhere near the roots because it will make it look really greasy and nasty. So, just mainly on the bottoms. Alright. I also try to get these little pieces, just because they're usually really frizzy. So, I do little pieces above my ears. So that's it for the argan oil. Now I'm going to brush out my hair again, and also start with the curling rods. I only brush out the bottoms of my hair after I do the oil, because if I brushed the top as well, it would get the roots of my hair really oily, so just do the bottom section to kind of even out the oil. I made the mistake of brushing my hair, the complete head of hair, after doing argan oil, and it made the roots really gross, and it wasn't fun because I had to wash my hair again the next day, so that wasn't the best idea. Alright, so now I'm going to section out my hair in three sections. The bottom section is going to be rolled with these rods, or the biggest that I have, and then the middle section will be rolled with the medium ones, and then the top section is going to be rolled with the tiny ones. So these make really crazy poodle curls, and the middle ones do as well, but not as insane, and these don't really make a crazy curl, but it's definitely a nice curl. So going up to start sectioning. So when I put my hair up after I take out the curls the next day, I always do a side updo on this. Hello? Hi. do over here so I pull the top parts this way so in order to get like a cool really poofy curls on the top I part my hair here instead of over here so that way when the curls come out then they're really curly over here and I can flip them over and there's more volume so I part my hair her and 
kind of towards the middle, but kind of towards this side of my hair. And now I'm going to start sectioning. This is not a cute part on me, but too bad. So the top section is going to be pretty small because um, I don't have too many of the tiny ones and I do pretty small pieces for the tiny ones. So that looks about right. So that kind of section like this. And that even might be too much. If I have to, I can take some down if there is too much hair for the small ones. Now this is going to look gorgeous. This little unicorn thing that I've got going on. So I'm going to pin the top section up so it's out of my way. Very attractive like. And then get on to the next one. to take the bottom section and wet it a little bit more because it's pretty dry um, on the bottoms and stuff. So I'm going to spray this with water and start rolling. I usually cut it in the middle so that way I can do like two or three on each side. that your hair is really wet because if it's not then it won't work as well because these curls don't use any heat so it's really just based on the wetness of your hair and how your hair forms when it's wet and when it's drying. So now you don't want your hair to be like soaking wet so I'd recommend like not spraying it until it's like dripping, but just getting it really, really damp. And then I think only I need two over here. The bottom section just goes into a bun underneath everything else. So when I take this out tomorrow, I'm going to take out the bottom section first and then put that in a little bun, like over here. And so that doesn't matter if it's curly or really long. And then the top ones that I take out, I make it up to that on top of the bun. So the bottom becomes a base. So you're going to roll these all the way up to the top of your head and then twist the ends so that they stay. These fold pretty well and they hold nice so it shouldn't come undone but as you can see I twist the ends around each other and I look like Shrek right now with the little ear thing sticking out. you just, after you roll it, you cross the two and then twist so it stays up there. And when these hang down like this, I don't like it just kind of bobbing, so I will pin it up. Take the hair and pin it to my head like this. So that way it stays there instead of hanging down by my neck. And that's a tad bit annoying. Thank <laughs> you. 
right so now I'm going to take down the middle section and start rolling with these bad boys you're going to go a little bit smaller with the sections than the big ones just because I want a more defined curl. I'm going to start with three down here and then I'm going to save one because I only have eight of these. So I'm going to do three on each side and that leaves me two left in case I need to do one on each side for this one because this section might be too big. So I just want to play it safe. two times that I've done this is I wrap my head in a scarf really tight so that way when I sleep it's not so uncomfortable because they're kind of like smushed towards my head and um, it's because it's really uncomfortable when I'm sleeping in these and so that helps a little bit it gives a little bit more padding on my head so that's nice but it's not fun sleeping in these at all but like when I was doing the no heat challenge and I couldn't use heat on my hair I had to deal with it because I didn't want my hair to look ratchet and I couldn't use heat. So. And my hair naturally, like when I get out of the shower and if I just let my hair air dry and do nothing to it, it's an absolute frizzy mess. So, because my hair is naturally wavy and it's really frizzy like up at the top here. So that would not be cute at all. I look like a lion. Seriously. I could play Simba. It's totally a possibility. Just make sure your hair is not soaking wet. It really depends on like how fast your hair dries as well or how much time you have because I never do this when I need it for Sunday morning because by the time I take a shower and wash my hair and everything it's later at night so because I always have things to do Saturday so I can't wash my hair in the morning and leave them in all day Saturday and then wake up Sunday morning so I end up always doing them at night. It's actually 10.30 right now, so I always do them at night, and then I usually do it for Thursday night service, because if I do it for Sunday morning, they'll still be wet when I take it out, and it will do absolutely nothing. So with this, I can leave it in all day Thursday, because I leave around 6.30, and so then I have enough time to let them dry, and then they're actually really dry and really curly.
to our last section. that is it and I am all curled up this shall be exciting <laughs> I know I look absolutely gorgeous right now can't even contain it but I am going to now I'm not gonna go to sleep yet it is 11 but I'm gonna go chill out do what I need to do and then I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and leave them in all day and then I'll be back around five-ish tomorrow and I will show you what it looks like when I take it down and how I do my updo. So see y'all later. All right, so it is now Thursday afternoon and it's almost time for church. So I'm going to take down all the curls and start with my updo. So let's get started. So I separate them out and then it looks like that. So nice curls. I take a little bit of mousse and try to take care of some of the frizz.
needless to say, I look like a poodle. But you haven't seen nothing yet. We haven't even gotten to the orange ones. Now we're going to start with the orange ones, so this is where the poodle really comes out. They look like I stuck my finger in an electric socket. Like, seriously. The ones underneath, like the blue ones, they're actually cute. Like, I'd wear my hair like that, but not like this. I wouldn't go anywhere like this. I look like Scooby-Doo's mom. Something like that. and tame the beast. Look how crazy I look right now. Oh my gosh, there's moose all over my head. Like white spots everywhere. so that the bottom section I'm going to put in a bun. So I'm going to clip this up for a sec. And then this is all going to go in a bun over here. So I'm going to take a rubber band and just do a side bun.
actually going to pin this bun down because it's starting to slip. So now I'm going to start forming my updo. I'm going to gather up the back pieces and try to just form some kind of a bump and the curls will kind of take care of that themselves because they're already really poofy. So I'm just going to pin this down there. Alright, so pretty much I just pulled the back piece up into a little bit of a bump and I put my headband in. You might need to keep pinning just so that it looks symmetrical. You might need to pin one piece up and like take one down or something like that. So just mess with it however you want to. Alright, so I'm just pinning out these back pieces. Now I'm just going to start putting up pieces and pinning them. Depending on what you like, you can leave some hanging down. I might do that today. I'm not really sure yet. these pieces up. Alright, and the best thing about this hairstyle is that it lasts me like days. And I'll just take it down and put it back up and it'll look perfect and like I just did it. does not take very long to do and it's really cute so I'm going to spray it with hairspray and that's it all right that's it guys for this hair tutorial hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see y'all next time bye